Welcome to Podcast Lesson 2-1, Conditional Statements. A conditional statement is a statement written in two parts, one part being a complete sentence and the second part being a complete sentence. The original part, if, also known as the hypothesis, and the second part is called the conclusion. Being called a conditional statement, this is the condition in which some conclusion will happen. Well, given some unusual sentence, how do we rewrite this in that form? We look for the verb, because everything in front of the verb will be our condition. But it has to be a complete sentence, so rewrite this in a complete sentence. If they are, and I'm going to abbreviate, basketball players, excuse me, then they are tall. Now, whether this sentence is true or false is a different situation. To show something false, you need a counterexample. Otherwise, we must assume it's true. An example in which the hypothesis is true, but the conclusion is not going to happen, is when we consider the sentence false. Do you know of an example of a basketball player who is not tall? Perhaps you were thinking of Muggsy Bogues. Most people consider him true that he's a basketball player, but false that he's not tall by some people's standards. Counter an example, a specific example, a person's name, a place, a thing. The next part of this lesson, rewriting a conditional statement into different forms, is addressed in a different video. So I recommend that you watch a different video, part two of this lesson, to see that if the original sentence is written, we can rewrite it reversing the direction of the sentence or saying the same sentence in the same order, but possibly saying the opposite of this sentence, of course, using the proper grammar, or maybe switching the sides of the sentence and saying the opposites of this sentence. Once again, keep the proper grammar of this. Let's get the red with the red, blue with the blue. They have names. You should memorize these names. Once again, watch the other video to get the idea of this. When a conditional statement should happen to be true, if it's a right angle, then it's 90 degrees, and the converse of that statement should happen to be true. If it's 90 degrees, then it's a right angle. Then we can rewrite this sentence using a unique phrase, if and only if. We call this situation a biconditional statement. So we can say this statement in the way of, it's a right angle if and only if it's 90 degrees. This usually occurs when the original statement is a definition. Finally, for this lesson, the topic of symbols, replacing popular phrases or words with a symbol. If then is replaced with the arrow. The word not, or saying the opposite of a phrase, is used with tilde. The word and looks like a capital A without the crossbar, or looks like a V, and the word therefore three dots symbols that take the place of words or phrases. Now, using that idea, a sentence like John Coltrane is king might be represented with the letter P. Dexter Gordon is the man might be used with the letter Q. So let's take this statement and rewrite it using the symbols. If John Coltrane is not king, then Dexter Gordon is the man. Notice the if-then which case we'll use the arrow symbol. John, Cho John Coltrane is not king. Of course, that's P, but the opposite of tilde P. Dexter Gordon is the man, is represented by the letter Q. Another example, Dexter Gordon is not the man. That would be tilde Q. And, using the and symbol, John Coltrane is king, represented with the letter P. 
taking sentences and restating them in symbolic form. This has been Podcast Lesson 2-1, Conditional Statements.